Oh my gosh, you guys. I am shaking because this buck is walking in my backyard right now. Uh, so I'm trying not to get my stuff together and go outside. Okay. Wyatt, Wy 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 I need you to stay in here, okay? Stay in here. might be my chance. I don't know. He's he's in my backyard, guys. He's in my backyard. Oh, I don't know how to get out there quiet. Because he's right at the stand. Look, he's right at the oh, the deer feeder. He is at the deer feeder, like stone cold. Okay, hold on. I, don't, I can't find the freaking shoes. <sighs> you guys, I'm so mad. I should have been sitting outside today. I should have been sitting outside today. I can't. Gosh, I'm shaking. I am shaking. <sighs> that was so frustrating because he was down in my neighbor's pile down there and he started coming up the hill. And so as he was coming up the hill to my pile, I was trying to get my stuff together. I could not find my release. Uh, of course, it was right in front of me, but I was panicking. So I'm, when I'm panicking, I can't see what's right in front of my freaking face. And I tried to sneak out the front door and come around the carport and I got behind, luckily there's a big freezer right there that we're trying to get rid of. So it was sitting there and I kind of posted up behind it and was trying to get around and my dog comes out of her dog box and then it kind of spooks him a little bit. And I stood there for a good minute. Like I stood there for a good minute with half, one eye behind the freezer and then the other eye looking at him and I swear about went cross-eyed like it was hurting my eyes so bad like trying to stand still because he was staring right at me and of course I was wearing this sweatshirt so like I was like a sore thumb out there I really should have put some camouflage on but he was standing right there he was so close like 40 yard maybe not even 40 yards from where I was standing I don't even know but oh my gosh he was right there that's that is the buck that I've been watching and wanting and um he was right there and then he got spooked and then he started going back in the woods a little ways back here and then my neighbor that lives right here came outside and got in his truck and spooked him off oh my gosh um So he was out in broad daylight today and I guess it's because it's been pouring rain. So he's smart. He knows that it's a good time for him to come out because it's pouring rain and it's the middle of the day. But I've never, you know, I guess maybe I've never paid attention before, but I've never, I've never even seen him on camera midday. So that was crazy. Uh, I don't, I don't know if he'll make a return. I really don't. I don't know if he'll come back or what, but Oh my gosh. I'm freaking out, man. Okay, so it's still slap pouring rain right now. And um, it's about 1.30 or so. And um, I don't know what to do. I really hope he comes back. The rain is supposed to kind of go out about five o'clock which is right before sunset so i'm really hoping that he comes back out i don't know we'll see um but i'm hoping for the best 
Um, but I've got my camouflage on. I gotta go spray myself because he, he definitely smelled me earlier. Um, but I'm gonna go sit outside for the afternoon and see if he doesn't pop back up. I don't know if you'll learn or not. I might, um, take some pumpkin, more pumpkins out there, um, and cut them open. Um, I cannot believe this happened today. I cannot believe this happened today. And I can't believe my neighbor didn't see him before I did, which is kind of crazy. Um, it's crazy. I actually, while he was in his pile out here, I was looking up at the house and I didn't see him outside anywhere. So I guess he didn't see him. But uh, that was crazy. All right, so here's the deal. It's still pouring rain. And I'm going out here to, I've got some pumpkins that I've laid out there. And, um, but I'm going to lay out just a couple more, um, that I, I want to like lure him in even more. So I'm going to put some fresh cut pumpkins out there and see if he comes back this afternoon, if not in the morning. We'll see. This buck is not dumb at all. So it's been really hard to try and get him to come out at the right times but I'm gonna go do this and see if it works it's three o'clock now I'm sitting in the office this buck came rolling out about 12 o'clock so I was literally just organizing my pantry that's what I was doing I was organizing my pantry and trying to switch out some stuff clear off my countertop so that I can start like planning some holiday decorating whatever and I walk by the kitchen window and I see this massive rack way off in the distance just come up and I'm like <gasps> he's here he was at my neighbor's corn pile down the hill from our house which is basically like you would think it's still our backyard it's that close to us and so I start scrummaging around the house trying to get my bow together and I could not find my release my release was right up on the top of this um gun cabinet here right on the corner where I had stuck it and I'm freaking out scrambling around the house trying to find it and i come in here real fast i look up and i'm like oh there it is there it is so i stick it on really fast and it's it's staying on my wrist okay until it gets dark outside it's staying on my wrist um and so i went out here to the front the front door tried to go around the house and creep we have a freezer out here that's just been sitting here that we were just going to get rid of because it's broken and so i kind of posted up behind the freezer and i was trying to get around the freezer and get a little bit closer in and then when i was trying to do that my dog came out of her doghouse which was right in front of me basically and so the deer kind of got spooked and um then as i tried to like come out i think he he knew i was there like he saw me he smelled me you know i hadn't sprayed anything on myself no lemmy shield no nothing and so he takes off a little bit in the ways starts going down the woods behind my deer stand and then my neighbor which is behind the deer stand comes out of his back door and is getting in his truck and scares the buck off so the buck takes off the other way back into the woods so now it's three o'clock i sat outside for a few minutes and i kind of figured he's not going to pop back out anytime soon maybe not even today if i had to guess um but i'm definitely gonna post up this afternoon before it gets dark and then i'm also gonna sit 
in the morning and see if he comes back out in the morning. All while I have my kids here. We'll see how it goes. That's the thing guys, is that days like today are so good for hunting because these big bucks, this is when they make their break, when it's pouring rain outside. Those, to me, those are some of the best times to go hunting. It's been raining for, it's been raining for the past like 24 hours. And um, the deer didn't come out yesterday. So, well, they came out last night. So I'm a little surprised he came back out midday today. Um, but obviously, he was looking for some food. So, chances are he's not going to come back this afternoon. More than likely, he'll come back in the morning. We're hoping. So. We'll see. Alright guys, it's 5.58. Um, I stayed out as long as I could see and so nothing I, I heard a lot of activity in the woods I couldn't decipher whether it was the wind or whether it was squirrels or deer just because I had um, my bogging on here so I, I couldn't really hear that well um, but I am gonna post back up same spot tomorrow morning maybe he'll come back out I don't know if not I may just be watching like I did today I was watching every time I walked by the window I would look out there to see if he was there I have like an anxiety lump in my throat right now and I've had it since 12 o'clock today and so I'm kind of like trying to get rid of it it really hurts feels like I have acid reflux <laughs> that's what happens when I get bad anxiety I get acid reflux and it really hurts but anyways um so I'm gonna try to sit out in the morning i'm gonna try to get up in the morning and see if he doesn't come out he's not been i've not been seeing him on camera in the mornings but i've also not been seeing him during the day at 12 o'clock like i did today so i'm gonna post up uh in the morning and see if he's gonna pop back out so we'll see wish me luck um it's cold it's really cold outside and so i'm definitely gonna be dressing very warm for the morning to come okay it is the night before my morning hunt and i'm just hanging up some clothes um and spraying them i sprayed them with some Malimi shield i wanted to um wear this dupu jacket for the first time deer hunting so i'm gonna attempt to do that in the morning and i'm excited because um, I have very rarely in the past used heated jackets, so I'm excited to get to use this, um, just to see how good it works. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed, put Wyatt to bed, and then I will see y'all in the a.m. Neighbor has won the fight. <laughs> oh yeah. Shot him this morning. Monday morning. Sure that's me. Oh yeah. There it is.
He's got a great body. Are you going to pull him out? Can't do it. Pull, sissy. Pull. <laughs> He's heavy, ain't he? It's Molly. 